Ich danke dir für diesen neuen Morgen. Und dass wir immer noch in der Lage sind, uns zu treffen und dein Wort zu studieren. Und danke für all die Verheißungen, dass du uns noch mehr von deinem Wort zu verstehen geben möchtest. Und ich möchte dich bitten, dass du gegenwärtig unter uns bist. Und dass du uns durch deinen Heiligen Geist lehrst. Und hilf uns, die Dinge zu sehen, die wir noch immer brauchen. Damit wir vorbereitet werden für den Test, der vor uns liegt. Und bitte segne Bruder Mark, wenn er seine Gedanken auslegt. Und hilf uns, dass wir gegenwärtig sind und verstehen. In Jesu Namen. Amen. Okay, the notes are in the live stream. Die Notizen sind im Livestream. And this topic, um, we did it some time back. Dieses Thema haben wir vor einiger Zeit angeschaut. Okay, and um, I came to some conclusions on that, but I, I, I don't think that they were right. Und ich bin da zu Schlussfolgerungen gekommen, wo ich nicht ge gedacht habe, dass sie richtig sind. Okay, so we're going to go through it again. Wir werden da noch mal hindurchgehen. So, anyway, let's begin. Go to Genesis chapter 7 and verse 1. Und fangen wir an, indem wir zu 1. Mose 7 und Vers 1 gehen. It says, And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee have seen righteous before me in this generation. So, why, why is Noah um, being told he can go into the ark? Also, warum wird Noah gesagt, dass in die Arche gehen soll? Because the Lord found him righteous, right? Weil der Herr ihn als gerecht befunden hat. Okay, and... Um, If we go now to Exodus chapter 2, it says, And there went a man of the house of Levi, and took to wife a daughter of Levi, and the woman conceived and bare a son. And when she saw him that he was a goodly child, she hid him three months. So, why is Moses being put into this ark? And why is Moses in this ark getan? Because of the decree. It doesn't mention anything about a decree there, Margaret. No, but no, 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 we're going on the information that's written there. Also basierend auf der Information. Because, it says because he was a goodly child. Es steht, weil er eben ein um, schönes oder gutes Kind war. Okay, we're not, we're not, I'm not going into the, the, the history of this. I'm just basically going on the reasons written there why she put him in the ark. Also we're going not basierend auf der Geschichte, sondern basierend auf ähm, den Informationen, die geschrieben steht, warum er in die Arche ge äh, gelegt wurde. It says here in verse 3. Weil in Vers 3 sagt es, And when she could not longer hide him, she took him for an ark of bulrushes and daubed it with slime and pitch and put the child therein and she laid it in the flags by the river's brink. So, you see, there's a, a comparison between these two thoughts. Also man kann sehen, da ist ein Vergleich zwischen diesen zwei Gedanken. And the reason why I'm, I'm comparing these stories because by bringing these stories together will help us to understand the story of Noah. Und der Grund, warum ich diese zwei Geschichten anschaue, ist, weil sie werden uns helfen, ähm, die Geschichte von Noah besser zu verstehen. Okay, now go back to Genesis 7, verse 2. Gehen wir zurück zu 1. Mose 7 und Vers 2. It says, of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens the male and his female of beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female. Of fowls also of the air by sevens, the male and the female, to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. For yet seven days I will cause it to rain upon the earth, forty days and forty nights, and every living substance that I have made I will destroy from off the face of the earth. 
and Noah did according to all the Lord had commanded it. Okay, so I'm just going to put a line on here. The Lord tells Noah to go into the ark. So the Herr sagt jetzt Noah, dass er in die Arche gehen soll. Right, and then he um, and he tells him that um, after seven days he's going to cause it to rain upon the earth. Und er sagt ihm, dass nach sieben Tagen wird er es regnen lassen auf der Erde. And it's going to rain for 40 days and 40 nights. Und es wird dann für 40 Tage und 40 Nächte regnen. Okay, Vers 6. Vers 6. And Noah was 600 years old when the flood of water was upon the earth. And Noah went in and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him into the ark because of the waters of the flood. Of clean beasts and of of beasts that are not clean and of fowls and of every thing that creepeth upon the earth. There went in two and two into the ark, the male and the female, as God had commanded Noah. And it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. <coughs> in the um, <coughs> six hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month, in the seventeenth day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened and the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. In the selfsame day entered Noah and Shem and Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with them into the earth. Okay. So, Okay, so here we'll write in to the ark, right? And they were in the ark for seven days. Also, here gehen sie jetzt in die Arche und sie sind dann in der Arche für sieben Tage. Okay, and it says, came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. And in verse 11, it tells us when that began. It says, in the 600 year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day where all the fountains of the deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. Also, Vers 10 bis 11 haben wir gelesen. Right. So, I know that it was on the, the eighth day, right, that, and we'll read that in a minute, that the, the waters began, right? Also, wir werden das gleich lesen, aber es war dann am achten Tag, um, wo dann das angefangen hat, wo die Wasser gekommen sind. So, and it says, so that began on the second month, the 17th day of the month, also, the same day, right? Also, das geschah im zweiten Monat, am 17. Tag des Monats, am selben so, Tag. Seven, day of the second month, right? Also, 17. Tag des zweiten Monats. And it was for 40 days. Und das war dann 40 Tage lang. Okay. Um, because verse 13, Und Vers 13, it says, In the self same day entered Noah and Shem and Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah and his Noah's wife, and his three wives and his sons with them into the ark. So, I often wonder what, why, and we made this point that the self same day was what he had entered seven days earlier. Und wir haben right. diesen Punkt gemacht, dass der derselbe Tag, wie es hier erwähnt ist, ähm, ja, derselbe Tag ist, wie wo sie sieben Tage zuvor ähm, in die Arche gegangen sind. Because if you go back from here, there's where he's told to get into the ark. That's the self same day. Also hier wird ihm gesagt, dass er in die Arche gehen soll und das ist eben derselbe Tag. You get what I mean? Because the, the, the week is... Sorry, Mama. Na, an eben diesem Tag. Jetzt bist du bis jetzt, das ist schon nicht der gleiche Tag. An Aber eben same, diesem Tag. Same ist doch. Ja, same. gleich. Ja. An eben diesem Tag ist hier auch wo es ist. The, the point is that there's, there's a weekly cycle, also right? Also der Punkt ist, es gibt eben einen wöchentlichen Zyklus. So the eighth day <coughs> is the first day. Also right. der achte Tag ist auch der erste Tag. Because he didn't get in the ark the day that the waters broke up, right? Weil er ist ja nicht 
an dem Tag in die Arche gegangen, wo die Wasser hervorgebrochen sind. But, but it says here, verse 12, Aber in Vers 12 sagt es, The rain was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights, and the self same day entered Noah and Shem and Ham. Right? So the only conclusion that I come to the self same day is the, the same, the same day is this day, and this is the day they're told to get in the ark. Right. Also die einzige Schlussfolgerung, zu der man jetzt kommen kann, ist eben, dass dieser selbe Tag in Vers 13 eben auch dieser Tag ist, von dem hier gesprochen wird. So after work out what this day is, right? Also wir müssen jetzt herausfinden, was dieser Tag hier ist. Okay, so go to Exodus 24. Gehen wir zu 2. Mose 24. Vers 15. In Vers 15. It says, and Moses went up into the mount and a cloud covered the mount and the glory of the Lord abode upon the mount and the cloud covered it six days and in the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud and the sight of the glory of the Lord was like a devouring fire on top of the mount in the eyes of the children of Israel and Moses went into the midst of the cloud and got him up to the mount and Moses was in the mount 40 days and 40 nights, right? So, the very day Moses enters into the cloud begins the 40 days and 40 nights, right? Also, derselbe Tag, wo jetzt Mose in die Wolken hineingeht, da beginnt jetzt die 40 Tage und 40 Nächte. Right? Richtig. So, which day is it? Also, welcher Tag ist das? No, 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 no. The six days he was, it was the seventh day, right? So which day was it? Which day did he enter into the cloud? Yeah, it was the Sabbath day, right? That's the point I want to get to, right? So what, I, what I'm making, if we're using the same pattern, right? He's told to come into the cloud on the seventh day, right? um das gleiche Muster zu zeigen und er geht in die Wolke am siebten Tag. So, here he's told to get into the ark, right? Also, I'm suggesting that this is the Sabbath when he's told to get into the ark. Also hier wird ihm gesagt, dass er in die Arche gehen soll und ich schlage vor, dass das der Sabbat ist, wenn er in okay. die Arche hineingeht. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you have the Sabbath, which is the self same day. Und nach sieben Tagen, am achten Tag, hat man wieder den Sabbat, was derselbe Tag ist. Okay. And the rain begins at Sabbath? Yes, the rain, because the day he goes into the cloud is the first of 40. Und, um, so 40 uh, days, right? Am Sabbat beginnt eben der Regen und das ist dann The day that he goes into the cloud is the beginning of the 40 days. Also an dem Tag, wo er in die Wolke hineingeht, das ist der Anfang der 40 Tage. So that, therefore it says the self same day he entered in the ark began the rain, which will rain for 40 days. Right? Deswegen an dem selben Tag, wo er in die Arche gegangen ist, da hat, haben, hat es dann geregnet für 40 Tage. Right? Richtig? Yes. Uh, uh, I'm only going by the pattern, right? There's a reason why it says the same day he entered in that began to rain for 40 days, right? Also ich gehe jetzt nur nach dem Muster und es gibt ja einen Grund, warum es sagt, derselbe Tag, als er in die Arche geht, ähm, da hat es geregnet. Right, so, let's not put our own conclusions on things, I'm just going by what is written there, right? Also lass uns nicht unsere eigenen Schlussfolgerungen dazu nehmen, sondern... Ähm, Okay, let's go to the first quote here from Patriarchs and Prophets. Gehen wir zum ersten Zitat von Patriarchen und Propheten. It says, Moses and his minister Joshua were now summoned to meet with God, and as they were to be some time absent, the leader appointed Aaron and Hur, assisted by the elders, to act in his stead. And Moses went up into the mount, and a cloud covered the mount. And the glory of the Lord abode upon Mount Sinai. For six days the cloud covered the mountain as a token of God's special presence. Yet there was no revelation of himself or communication of his will. During this time Moses remained in waiting for a summons to the presence chamber of the Most High. So what's he doing? As was today. He's, he's waiting, right? 
he had been directed, Come up to me into the mount and be there. And though his patience and obedience were tested, so the this, this six days that he's waiting, right, he's being tested, right? Also die sechs Tage, wo er wartet, da wird er geprüft. Okay, so, let's just... Okay, so, let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a test, also right? Also, die ersten sechs Tage sind ein Test. Um, he had been directed, come up to me in the mount and be there. And though his patience and obedience were tested, he did not grow weary of watching or forsake his post. This period of waiting was to him a time of preparation, of close self-examination. Right, so it's a test. It was a time of self-examination. <coughs> also, es war eine Zeit des Testes und eine Zeit der Selbstüberprüfung. Okay, so so this uh, I'm keeping separate from this, but I'm just want parallel and to try and see if we can see the the same pattern. Right? Und ich halte das jetzt erstmal getrennt, aber ich möchte das einfach parallel setzen, dass wir sehen können, dass es dasselbe Muster ist. Okay. Um, even this favored servant of God could not at once approach into his presence and endure the exhibitions of his glory. Six days must be employed in devoting himself to God by searching of heart, meditation and prayer before he could be prepared for direct communication with his maker. Now, you have this when the glory of the Lord passes by him, right? What could he not see? Und das ähm, sieht man auch, wenn die Herrlichkeit des Herrn an ihm vorüberzieht, was konnte man nicht sehen? Couldn't see his face, er right? nicht sein ähm, Gesicht sehen. But, but we know, right, that at the end you see him face to face. This is Jacob's experience in Isaiah, etc., etc. Aber right? wir wissen, dass am Ende das ähm, kann man ihn von Angesicht zu Angesicht sehen. Das ist ähm, Jakobs Erfahrung und ähm, Isaiah. In yes. Jesaja's Erfahrung und so weiter. Okay, at the, at, the, at the end, they all see God face to face, and this is what brings them into the dust. Right? Also am Ende sehen sie alle Gott von Angesicht zu Angesicht, und das bringt sie dann in den Staub. So it's telling us here that Moses, as though he was righteous, was not yet prepared to, and we're going to see, he sees God face to face. Right? Also es sagt uns, dass ähm, Mose, obwohl er gerecht war, er war noch nicht vorbereitet, und Deswegen am Ende wird er ihn dann von Angesicht zu Angesicht sehen. It says upon the seventh day, which was the Sabbath, right? So the seventh day, also der siebte Tag, which is the Sabbath, war der Sabbat, right? Moses was called up into the cloud, the thick cloud opened in the sight of all Israel, and the glory of the Lord broke forth like devouring fire. And Moses went into the midst of the cloud and got him up into the mount. And Moses was in the mount 40 days and 40 nights. The 40 days tarry in the mount did not include the six days of preparation. Right? So the seventh day, which is the Sabbath, is the beginning of the 40 days. Right? Also der siebte Tag, was auch der Sabbat ist, ist der Anfang der 40 Tage. Right? So, because this is the Sabbath, Right? When Noah is told to get into the ark here, when the waters begin on the eighth day, it says it's the self same day. Right? Und um, weil das hier eben der Sabbat ist, um, ist auch hier, hier wo, hier wo um, Noah in die Arche geht und dann am achten Tag kommt der Regen, das ist eben, deswegen sagt es, ist, es ist derselbe Tag. Weil es so, I, I think the fact that it's referring to it's the self same day, it's referring to it's the Sabbath. Meaning it's the same day. Also der Grund, warum es sagt derselbe Tag, ähm, ich denke, dass ich das eben auf den Sabbat bezieht. Das ist derselbe Tag. It's the self same day that Noah entered into the ark. Das ist right? derselbe Tag, an dem Noah in die Arche gegangen ist. So Noah entered into the ark here. Und Noah ist in die Arche hier gegangen. The self same day is the Sabbath. Derselbe Tag ist der Sabbat. Right? Ich 
richtig? That, no, that's at least the, the conclusion that, that I can come to, but also, das ist maybe that's wrong. Das ist die Schlussfolgerung, zu der ich kommen kann, aber vielleicht ist es auch falsch. Go back to Genesis chapter 7. Gehen wir zurück zu 1. Mose 7. Vers 14. Vers 14. It says, they and every beast after his kind, and all the cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and every fowl after his kind, and every bird of every sort. And they went in un unto Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. And they went in, went in male and female of all flesh, as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. So when all the animals are on the ark, what does he do? Also wenn alle Tiere auf der Arche sind, was tut er? He shuts them in, right? Er schließt sie ein. Okay, let's read this next quote. Lesen wir das nächste Zitat. The righteous and the wicked will still be living upon the earth in their mortal state. Men will be planting and building, eating and drinking, all unconscious that the final irrevocable decision has been pronounced in the sanctuary above. Before the flood... After Noah entered in the ark, God shut him in and shut the godly out. But for seven days the people, uh, knowing not that their doom was fixed, continued their careless, pleasure-loving life and mocked the warnings of impending judgment. So says the Saviour shall be the coming of the Son of Man. Or shall the coming of the Son of Man be? Silently, unnoticed as the midnight thief will come, the decisive hour, which marks the fixing of every man's destiny, the final withdrawal of mercies offered to guilty men. So, what I want us to understand is that the day that Noah goes into the ark, he shuts him in. It's the shut door. Right? So when did the animals get on the ark? Also, wann sind die Tiere auf die Arche gegangen? Be before this, right? Davor. And because that's what it says um, <coughs> in Genesis 7 and verse 16. Weil das sagt es in 1. Mose 7, Vers 16. And they that went in, went in male and female of, fle of all flesh, <coughs> as God commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. Right? So they all went in, and then he shuts the door. Also sie sind alle hineingegangen, und dann hat er die Tür geschlossen. Okay. Uh, Let's go to the next quote. Gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. From First Spirit of Prophecy. From 1 SP. It's the period of their probation was drawing near its close. So it's not yet with the doors closed, das right? Ist noch nicht, wo die Tür verschlossen ist. The unbelieving, scoffing inhabitants of the world were to have a special sign of God's divine power. Noah had faithfully followed the instructions God had given to him. The ark was finished exactly as God had directed. He had laid in store immense quantities of food for man and beast. And after this was accomplished, God commanded the faithful Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee I have seen righteous before me. Angels were sent to collect from the forest and field the beasts which God had created. Angels went before these animals, and they followed two and two, male and female, and clean beasts by sevens. These beasts, from the most ferocious down to the most gentle and harmless, peacefully and solemnly marched into the ark. The sky seemed clouded with birds of every description. They came flying to the ark, two and two, male and female, and the clean birds by sevens. The world looked on with wonder, some with fear. But they had become so hardened by rebellion that this most signal manifestation of God's power had but a momentary influence upon them. For seven days these animals were coming into the ark, and Noah was arranging them in the places prepared for them. Okay, so here you have seven days, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Also here had man yet seven tab. And what does it say he's doing in these seven days? And what sagt es, was tut er in diesen sieben Tagen? He's arranging the animals, right? Er ja, um, ja, richtet jetzt die Tiere an ihrem Platz. Hm. 
But the point of note there is that when you go, go near, just above the middle, right, it says... Gehen wir in die Mitte des, oder über die Mitte des Zitats. Above that highlighted uh, verse, in the, uh, uh, sentence in the middle. Über um, dem fett gedruckten Satz in der Mitte. It says there, and after this was accomplished, God commanded the faithful Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for I have seen righteous before me. Right? But he was told to get into the ark on this day, and he was in it for seven days. Right? Also, <laughs> ihm wurde gesagt, dass er an diesem Tag in die Arche gehen sollte, und er war dann für sieben Tage auf der Arche. Okay, this is where the confusion came last time, because he's told to get in the ark there, and now for these seven days he's arranging the animals. Right? Und da war auch die Verwirrung, weil ihm wird ja gesagt, dass er auf die Arche gehen soll und in diesen sieben Tagen ordnet er jetzt die Tiere in ihre Plätze. And because of that, I took the seven and put it here like that, right? Und deswegen habe ich diese sieben genommen und hier rüber gelegt. Okay. For, two sevens. Yes, yeah, there's two sevens, but the point is that you'll see in a minute, he, he takes the verse when he says, Enter thou into the ark, right? Also, es gibt zwei sieben, aber das werdet ihr gleich sehen. Aber ihm wird halt hier gesagt, geh in die Arche hinein. Right, and, it, and it's, you'll see, it tells us, when he entered in the ark, the Lord shut the door. Right? Und es sagt uns, wenn er in die Arche gegangen ist, da hat der Herr die Tür verschlossen. Then it says he's in the ark for seven days, right? Und sagt es, er ist in der Arche für sieben Tage. And then we'll read, it says, on the eighth day, the floods came, right? Und dann ähm, werden wir lesen, am achten Tag kam die Flut. Okay. But here it's saying, enter thou into the ark, using the same verse, but then it says, for seven days he was arranging the animals. Right? But we read, the animals came into the ark, then he shut the door. Right? Okay, so... Just let's read on. It says. So the the angels were sent to gather these animals, right? Okay, Matthew 13 and verse 30. Matthew 13 and verse 30. It says, "Let both grow together until the harvest, and in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers." Gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Right? Who are the angels? And where are the angels? The reapers. Uh, yes, who are the, the reapers here? So, where are the reapers? Yeah, the, they're angels, right? Yes. But, but who are they? But where are they? It's God's people doing this work of gathering. Right? So the, this, the point is, I want to see that you have the same illustration here. This, the angels are sent forth to gather into the barn, right? Also the point is, here gibt es dieselbe Darstellung. Die Engel werden jetzt gesandt, um in die Scheune die Sachen zu sammeln. Okay, the barn represents God's safety, right? Und die Scheune, die stellt um, Gottes Sicherheit dar. Just like the, the ark, right? So wie auch die Arche. In Matthew 24, verse 29. Matthew 24, verse 29. You see the same illustration. Da sieht man dieselbe Darstellung. It says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give a light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. So when the when the Shaking of the heavens and the earth begins. What does he send? Also, when the Erschütterung des Himmels und der Erde stattfindet oder anfängt, was wen sendet er? No. Then shall appear this as a sign, right? So, es erscheint ein Zeichen. Okay. So, um, now, just a different point, right? Remember the harvest. The harvest has two points. Right. Erinnert euch an die Ernte, sie hat zwei Punkte. If you just go to, go to Revelation 16. Gehen wir zu Offenbarung 16. Vers 17. Vers 17. It 
It says, And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. Okay? So, this is the harvest, right? Also, das ist die Ernte. And when he says, It is done, what is it marking? Und wenn er sagt, es ist geschehen, was markiert es? A closed door, right? Eine geschlossene Tür. So, the closed doors here, right? Und die geschlossene Tür ist ja hier. <laughs> But at the same time, right? Go, go to um, go to Revelation 14. Aber gehen wir zu Offenbarung 14. It tells us in Christ Object Lessons 412 that Revelation, oh sorry, Revelation, Matthew 25 and verse 6 is the close of probation, right? Es sagt uns in Offenbarung 2, dass... Äh, no, 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 Christ Object Lessons oh. 412. Es sagt uns in Christi Gleichnisse 412, dass Matthäus 25, Vers 6 ähm, das Ende der Gnadenzeit ist. Okay, but Matthew 25, Vers 6 is where this cry goes forward, where they're gathering in people before the door shuts. Right? The point is that there's two shut doors. Right? Yes, but so it, But if we go Revelation 14 verse um, 14. Also, auf meinem 14, Vers 14. It says, I looked and behold a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, Thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. So when he thrust in the sickle, It's when the angels are now gathering, right? Also, wenn er das Sichel einwirft, dann ähm, ist der Punkt, wo die Engel jetzt sammeln. Right? It's when he sends forth his reapers. Da sendet er seine Schnitter. But then, when you come down to verse 18, Aber wenn wir zu Vers 18 gehen, And another angel came out from the altar, which had power over fire, and cried with a loud cry to him that sat, that had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in thy sharp sickle, And gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for the grapes are fully ripe. And the, the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth, and gathered the vine of the earth, and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. This is the second time that, that the sickle goes in, right? Und das ist das zweite Mal, wo die Sichel reingeht. So every time that sickle goes in, there's a closed door. Also jedes Mal, wenn die Sichel reingeworfen wird, ist eine geschlossene Tür. Okay. And the second time it goes in marks the... The wrath when it's poured out, right? Und das zweite Mal, wo, sie, wo die Sichel reingeworfen wird, ist, wenn der Zorn Gottes ausgegossen wird. And if you just go to 15, 1, und wenn ihr zu Offenbarung 15, Vers 1 geht, And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. Okay, so it's like these repeating patterns. Das right? sind wie die sich wiederholenden Muster. Okay, so I'm just... I want us to make mental note of that. Ich möchte, dass wir das eben bemerken. Because there's a similarity here when he's gathering these animals. He sends angels to gather the animals and brings them into the ark. Weil right? hier ist eine Ähnlichkeit. Er sendet jetzt die Engel, und, um diese Tiere zu sammeln in die Arche. Okay, so go to the next quote. Gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. It's just a follow-on from the one we just read. Das ist einfach eine Fortsetzung von dem, was wir zuvor gelesen hatten. So in the one we just read, it says, the last sentence says, For seven days these animals were coming into the ark. Noah was arranging them in the places prepared for them. Right? And then we read on. Also jetzt haben wir nochmal den letzten Satz vom letzten Zitat gelesen und jetzt lesen wir weiter. And as the doomed race beheld the sun shining in its glory, and the earth clad in almost its Eden beauty, they drove away their rising fears by boisterous merriment, and by their deeds of violence, 
and by their deeds of violence seem to be encouraging upon themselves the visitation of the already awakened wrath of God. Everything was now ready for the closing of the act. So what had to happen before the ark was closed? Also was musste geschehen, bevor die Arche geschlossen wurde? Uh, no, just go back to the, 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 not the paragraph before, but the one before that. 1 SP 71.3. Also gehen wir noch mal zu dem Absatz, dem vorletzten Absatz, zu 1 SP ähm, 71. 71.3. The last sentence. The last mm -hmm. For seven days these animals were coming into the ark and Noah was arranging them in the places prepared for them. Right? Now go back. It says everything was now ready for the closing of the ark. Yes. So what had to be done before the ark was closed? Okay, which could not have been done by Noah from within. An angel is seen by the scoffing multitude descending from heaven, clothed with brightness like lightning. Okay, so where do we see the lightning in the Bible? Also, um, zuvor mussten noch die Tiere auf die Arche gehen und wo sehen wir jetzt dieses, diesen Blitz um, in der Bibel? The coming of Christ, right? Beim Kommen Christi. Okay. Um, you also have Satan yes. coming down like lightning, right? Man it's the punishment. Auch Satan, wie, wie ein Blitz, um, herunterfällt und das ist auch die Bestrafung. It says, he closes that massive outer door and then takes his course upward to heaven again. Seven days were the family of Noah in the ark before the rain began to set, descend upon the earth. In this time, they were arranging for their long stay while the water should be upon the earth. And these were days of blasphemous merriment by the unbelieving multitude. They thought because the prophecy of Noah was not fulfilled immediately after he entered the ark, that he was deceived and that it was impossible that the world could be destroyed by a flood. So this right here... Angel, and it's a sign, right? Also, genau hier kommt jetzt der Engel runter, und es ist ein Zeichen. And shuts the door, right? And this was, this was also a, a manifestation. Of, um, in God's power. Und das hier war auch eine Manifestation von Gottes Kraft. Okay, which brought much conviction upon them, right? Das hat viel Überführung über sie gebracht. Okay, so it says, he closes that massive outer door and then takes his course up to heaven again. Seven days were the family of Noah in the ark before the rain began to descend upon the earth. In this time they were arranging for their long stay while the waters should be upon the earth. And these were days of blasphemous merriment by the unbelieving multitude. They thought that because the prophecy of Noah was not fulfilled immediately after he entered the ark, that he was deceived and that it was impossible that the world could be destroyed by a flood. Previous to this, there had been no rain upon the earth. A mist had risen from the waters, which, caused, which God caused to descend at night like dew, reviving vegetation and causing it to flourish. Notwithstanding the solemn exhibition they had witnessed of God's power, of the unnatural occurrence of the beasts leaving the forests and fields and going into the ark, and the angel of God clothed with brightness and terrible in majesty descending from heaven and closing the door. So this is what they'd seen. They'd seen a manifestation of God's power and this angel descending and shutting the door. Right? Yet they had hardened their hearts and continued to revel and sport over the signal manifestations of divine power. But upon the eighth day, the heavens gathered blackness. Right? So, <laughs> this is where again we... we um, so it says, it, now it doesn't, in this quote... It doesn't mention anything about him being in the ark for seven days. 
Also in diesem Zitat, da erwähnt es jetzt nichts darüber, dass er in der Arche für sieben Tage ist. It just, it just says here, because what it does mention is that the animals will get on the ark for seven days and then he closes the door, right? Und er erwähnt jetzt hier nur, dass die ähm, Tiere für sieben Tage auf die Arche gehen und dann schließt er die Tür. And then it just says, but on the eighth day the heavens gathered blackness. Und dann sagt er, am achten Tag wurden die Himmel jetzt schwarz. It says the muttering thunders and vivid lightnings flashes began to terrify man and beast. The rain descended from the clouds above them. This was something they had never witnessed and their hearts began to faint with fear. Where does that take you to? Wohin bringt uns das mit dem Herzen? Right, just go to Luke 21. Zur Erschütterung der Himmel und Erde und gehen wir dazu zu Lukas 21. Vers 25. Vers 25. It says, And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations, but perplexity the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. Right? So it is marking the point where he says it is done, right? Und es markiert den Punkt, wo er sagt, es ist geschehen. Which is a closed door. Das ist eine geschlossene Tür. So, what I want to, because um, it says, but upon the eighth day the heavens gathered blackness. Is it talking about this day? Also die Frage ist, ob dieser achte Tag, wo die Himmel schwarz wurden, über diesen Tag spricht. The reason why I say that, all he mentions here, is he mentions seven days they were coming on the ark, then he closed the door, right? Also, weil, der Grund, warum ich das sage, ist, weil hier, diese sieben ähm, Tage, da kamen die Tiere auf die Arche und am achten Tag hatte die Tür No, 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 no. Se seven days come on the ark, then he closed the und door. Und dann hat er die Tür verschlossen nach sieben okay. Tagen. Okay, and then it says on the eighth day, right, the clouds began to gather Blackness. I'm only making a, a suggestion, right? Because it doesn't mention the seven days now in the app, right? Und dann sagt es am achten Tag wurden die Himmel jetzt schwarz und das wäre dann hier, weil es erwähnt hier nichts, dass er sieben Tage auf der Arche ist. Okay, and it says. I mean, we can maybe assume because it says that they had, they have seen the angels closing the door and they said and continue to revel. Yes. So you can assume that after the closing door they continue. No, no, you can't assume anything, Maurice. It says, but upon the eighth day, why, what, it's, in this paragraph, it's, you've got to count down. It's, uh, just go back up. It's the same quote, right? Go back mm -hmm. up to 1SP 71.3. Also gehen wir nochmal zurück zu dem, ähm, Zita, also zu dem Absatz 1SP that's, that's 71.3. Okay. It says, for seven days these animals were coming into the ark, and Noah was arranging them in places for them, right? And then it comes down in the same quote and says, and the eighth day, so which is the eighth day? It's the one after the seventh day. In dem selben Zitat, wenn wir weiter runtergehen, sagt es ja dann am achten Tag. Also, um, what is, what was the The eighth day is the day after the seventh day. Also, right? der achte Tag ist der Tag nach dem siebten Tag. Right? And... So just go to down back down where it says upon the eighth day the heavens gather blackness. So geht noch mal hinunter zu dem, ähm, wo es steht am achten Tag haben die Himmel, wurden die Himmel schwarz. This is a puzzle, right? And it, we're not to put our own construction upon these things. I'm just trying to follow what it's saying, right? Also das ist ein Puzzle und wir dürfen nicht unsere eigene Vorstellung darüber legen. Wir müssen nach dem gehen, was es sagt. Okay, but upon the eighth day the heavens gather blackness, the muttering thunders and vivid lightning flashes began to terrify man and beast. The rain descended from the clouds above them. This was something they had never witnessed and their hearts began to faint with fear. Right? So, just from this quote alone, there was seven days they're getting on the ark, he closes the door and it says that they just began to continue but on the eighth day it began to rain. Right? So, from this day, von diesem Zitat wissen wir, dass die sieben Tage ähm, sind die Tiere auf die Arche gegangen und dann am achten Tag ist die Tür verschlossen. Nee, dann wurde die Tür no, verschlossen no. und am achten Tag hat es angefangen zu regnen. It doesn't close on the eighth day, right? So, it says, 
<clears throat> the beasts were roving about in their wildest terror and their discordant voices seemed to moan out of their own destiny and fate of man. The storm increased in violence until water seemed to come from heaven like mighty cataracts. The boundaries of rivers broke away and the waters rushed to the valleys. The foundations of the great deep also were broken up. Jets of water would burst upon the earth with indescribable force, throwing massive rocks hundreds of feet into the air, and then they would bury themselves deep in the earth. Right, okay, so that, just when you read that now, they can't be talking about this point, right? Also, wenn man das hier liest, dann kann es ja nicht über diesen Punkt hier sprechen. Okay, just let's read on. Lesen wir weiter. The people first beheld the destruction of the works of their hands, their splendid buildings, their bountifully arranged gardens and groves, where they had placed their idols, were destroyed by lightning from heaven. So who's that? So wer ist das? Satan. That's Satan doing his destroying work, right? Satan, der sein zerstörerisches Werk. Their ruins were scattered everywhere. They had erected altars and groves and consecrated them to their idols, whereon they offered human sacrifices. These which God detested were torn down in his wrath before them, and they were made to tremble before the power of the living God, the maker of heavens and the earth. And they were made to know that it was their abominations and horrible idolatrous sacrifices which had called for their destruction. Okay, let's go to the next quote. Gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. It says, for seven days after Noah and his family entered the ark, there appeared no sign of the coming storm. Now, if you go back to the quote, when did he enter the ark? Also, wenn man zum Zitat zurückgeht, wann ist dann die Arche reingegangen? No, no, you're not paying attention. Go back to the... Let's go back up... Um, Go back to 1SP 71.3 and let's read it again. Gehen wir nochmal zurück zu 1SP 71.3 und lesen das nochmal. Let's go at the beginning. Gehen wir zum Anfang. The period of their probation was drawing near its close. It wasn't closed yet, right? Es war noch nicht verschlossen. The unbelieving, scoffing inhabitants of the world were to have a special sign of God's divine power. Noah had faithfully followed the instructions God had given him to him. The ark was finished exactly as God had directed. He had laid in store immense quantities of food for man and beast. And after this was accomplished, God commanded the faithful Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for I have seen righteous before me. Angels were sent to collect from the forest and feast beasts which God had created. Right? And they did this for seven days. And they have done this for seven days. Right? And for these seven days, Noah was arranging them on the ark, right? Diese sieben Tage lang hat Noah sie dann an ihren Ort zugewiesen. Okay, this is why it's confusing. It's like a puzzle, right? So, deswegen ist es verwirrend. Es ist wie ein Puzzle. So, if, the, if Noah is on the ark arranging them for seven days, he's on the ark, right? Also, and it says they're coming out into the ark, and the, the animals begin to come on, right? Also, wenn Noah sie jetzt ähm, auf der Arche an ihre Orte bringt, ähm, dann ist er ja auf der Arche, deswegen sagt es das hier. But when you read from the Bible, it says Noah says, get on the ark here, he gets on the ark and he shuts him in. Aber wenn right? man das von der Bibel liest, dann sagt es hier, ist Noah an die Arche gegangen, der Herr hat dann ihn eingeschlossen. But again, this is the self same day, right? Aber trotzdem ist das hier dasselbe Tag. So if the pattern's right, this would also be a Sabbath, right? Also, wenn das Muster richtig ist, dann wäre das hier auch der Sabbat. Okay, we will eventually understand this, right? Und schließlich werden wir das verstehen. Okay, now go back down again to the quote from Patriarchs and Prophets. Und gehen wir noch mal zurück zu dem Zitat von Patriarchen und Propheten. Because it says, for seven days after Noah and his family entered the ark, there appeared no sign of the coming storm. During this period, their faith was tested. So the question is now, is it based upon when the Bible marks him going into the ark in these seven days, or is it marking when he begins to go in the ark there and talking about these seven days, right? No, 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 don't assume anything, right? Ob es jetzt, um, wie die Bibel sagt, um, the Bible says these seven days. It says, is it marking the, this point, right, where he's 
putting the animals in the ark for seven days, or is it marking the point where the Bible says get on the ark and then he was seven days before the flood comes? Also die Frage ist, ob das diese sieben, ob es jetzt hier spricht über die sieben Tage, wo die Tiere auf die Arche gehen, oder ob es hier die sieben Tage sind, wo die Bibel das markiert, bevor die Flut kommt. Okay, we'll, we'll read on. Uh, mm. I mean, it says he Query. was doing it, and it's not saying it was his family. But, I, I don't know, maybe it was his family. But after that, the faith was tested. Yeah, but you've got to go by what's, you got to go by what's written. We can't assume yes. anything, right? It's okay. It says, for seven days after, Noah mm -hmm. and his family entered the ark, there appeared no sign of the coming storm. During this period, their faith was tested. Now, we already read here, the so seven days was a test yes. and self-examination. Right? This was when the door was shut. That's my problem. Why is the door shut and then it's a test? It's, it's a because the rain didn't come. Yes, but the door is shut in this in this. Yes, moment. it doesn't matter. Uh, you, okay, so, so when the door shuts and the seven last plagues are pouring out, is it a test for the 144,000? Yes, sure. Yes, okay. Same okay. test, yes. right? Okay. Also die Frage war, warum jetzt hier die Tür geschlossen ist und trotzdem ist da noch ein Test, aber das ist ja auch in, am Ende der Gnadenzeit, da ist es ja, sind die sieben letzten Plagen ja auch ein no Test. 144.000. Okay, just let's, let's read it. it says, Lesen wir einfach das weiter. For seven days after known as family entered the earth, there appeared no sign of the coming storm. During this period their faith was tested. It was a time of triumph to the world without. The apparent delay confirmed them in the belief that Noah's message was a delusion and that the flood would never come. Notwithstanding the solemn scenes which they had witnessed. So what had they witnessed? Also was hatten sie bezeugt? They saw the animals getting on the ark and they saw the angel coming down and shutting the door. So, so now... In this quote, it's telling you again that uh, that Noah had entered into the ark on this day, and this was the seven days he's now been tested. Right? Also, here in diesem Zitat sagt es jetzt, dass um, Noah an diesem Tag gegangen in die Arche gegangen ist und dass er für sieben Tage geprüft wurde. Okay, because they had witnessed all this before it. Weil right? sie hatten all dies zuvor bezeugt. And it's also in Revelation when they are still mocking. And even the place are falling. Yes. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. It says they're they walking. They are not repenting. And, uh, no, they're not repenting. It's, it's just, and it says in the Bible that they, although the plagues fall, they do not repent. Maris. So, then we are saying that uh, the other quote says that they continue their recovery in the first seven days, but here in the next seven days. No, wh wh which quote are you referring to? The, the one where I said that we can assume that it's after the uh, seven days. One SP. Hmm? One SP. Yes, I mean, one SP. Because I said we can assume that it's uh, after the closing door, when they continue to revel. Uh, yes, uh, I'm, I'm agreeing with you, but I'm just saying I, I'm, I'm not agreeing with you at the point when we're reading it. We have to come to the, put the points uh, in place first. I, uh, I'm not okay. disagreeing with you. I'm just saying I'm not agreeing with you at this point, mm -hmm. right? Also, mm -hmm. um, also um, when the door here verschlossen wird, then sagt es ja in diesem Zitat von 1 SP, dass sie weiterhin, um, ja, sie verspottet haben und diese was steht da noch mal genau? Haben ihre Partys gefeiert? Ja, sie haben ihre Partys gefeiert und ähm, Marco stimmt auch mit diesem Punkt überein, aber er möchte zuerst die Punkte an den Platz setzen. Okay, because I, I, I'm just not assuming anything. I want the, uh, to put the points in place and then we can clarify that. Weil ich möchte But nichts ähm, annehmen, sondern diese Punkte an den Platz setzen und dann kann man das klarstellen. Okay. We just read that for seven days there were no sign of the coming storm. That's right, yes. And before that we read about this dark day coming and uh, the rain. Yes, yeah, so that has to be here, right? 
Also ähm, wenn der Regen kommt und die, der Himmel ja schwarz wird, das muss ja hier sein. Aber hier in this code it says seven days the animals will get on the ark and then it says upon the eighth day yes. Yes. it began to happen, Aber right? In dem, in dem einen Zitat yes. sagt es, für sieben Tage sind die Tiere auf die Arche gegangen und am achten Tag hat es dann angefangen zu regnen. No, okay. It makes no sense to me either, but it's not, there's no contradictions here, it's just something we don't understand, right? Es macht doch keinen Sinn für mich, aber wir müssen jetzt erstmal ähm, vorwärts gehen, weil es gibt keine ähm, Widersprüche in Gottes Wort. Okay, we'll just keep, just don't, don't get confused. The point is, also that werdet nicht verwirrt. there's the seven days the animals get in the house, and then he shuts the door, right? Das sind die sieben Tage, wo die Tiere in die Arche gehen, und dann schließt er die Tür. Right, so go back to this quote we're reading now, Patriarchs and Prophets, and focus on this, right? Also gehen wir nochmal zurück zu dem Zitat von Patriarchen und Propheten und fokussieren uns darauf. Begin again. For seven days after no one has found the enter there, there appeared no sign of the coming storm. During this period, their faith was tested. It was a time of triumph to the world without. The apparent delay confirmed them in the unbelief that Noah's message was a delusion and that the flood would never come. Notwithstanding the solemn scenes which they had witnessed, the beasts and birds entered the ark and God and the angel of God closing the door. So they have witnessed this. Seven days them coming into the ark and the angel shutting the door, right? Sie hatten das jetzt bezeugt, wie die Tiere sieben Tage auf die Arche gegangen sind und der Engel, der die Tür verschließt. And for seven days after, there's no sign of the coming storm, right? Und sieben Tage danach gab es kein Zeichen für den kommenden Sturm. But in the other quote says, on the eighth day, right? <laughs> Aber im anderen Zitat sagt es am achten Tag. So it must be referring to this day and it just doesn't mention these seven, right? Da kam der Regen und deswegen muss es über diesen Tag hier sprechen und es erwähnt diese sieben Tage noch gar nicht. No, because you've got to bring everything together, right? Das ist jetzt keine Annahme, weil man muss ja alle Dinge zusammen. I'm saying it's an assumption when you just read that one quote, right? Ich sage, das ist nur eine Vermutung, wenn du nur dieses eine Zitat... We'll just keep reading because there's other quotes that will just... Clear this point, right? Wir werden jetzt noch weitere Zitate lesen und diesen Punkt klären. Now it tells you, we just read there, notwithstanding the solemn scenes which they had witnessed, the beasts and birds entering the ark and the angel of God closing the door. Now we know for a fact that they were getting on the ark for seven days and then he shut the door, right? Also wir wissen, dass er für sieben Tage auf die Arche gegangen ist und dann hat er die Tür verschlossen. It says they still continued their sport and revelry, even making a jest of these signal manifestations of God's power. They gathered in crowds about the ark, deriding its inmates with a daring violence which they had never ventured on before. But upon the eighth day, dark clouds overspread the heavens. Now here's the eighth day, and it mentioned in the other quote, so it's definitely talking about yeah. this day, right? Also here's the eighth Tag, was auch im anderen Zitat erwähnt hat. Also es muss Ganz sicher hier über diesen Tag sprechen. There followed the muttering of thunder and the flash of lightning. Okay? Soon large drops of rain began to fall. So now what you do is you're bringing all these quotes together and it's explaining itself. Right? Also, jetzt bringst du die ganzen Zitate zusammen und das erklärt sich selbst. The world had never witnessed anything like this. The hearts of men were then struck with fear. So it's, it's, it's this point, right? Also wenn die Herzen mit Furcht ähm, versagen, das ist dann dieser Punkt hier. Okay. All were secretly inquiring, can it be that Noah was in the right and that the world was doomed to destruction? Darker and darker grew the heavens, and faster came the falling rain. The beasts were roaming about in the wildest terror, and their discordant cries seemed to moan out their own destiny and the fate of man. Then the fountains of the deep were broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened. Water appeared to come from the clouds and mighty cataracts. Rivers broke away from their boundaries and overflowed uh, the valleys. Jets of water burst from the earth with indescribable force, throwing massive rocks hundreds of feet into the air. And these, in falling, buried themselves deep in the ground. So that's the same as what we saw with the other eighth day that we read, right? Das ist dasselbe, was wir für den anderen achten Tag gelesen haben. Okay. So, I just didn't mention this seventh day. It talked about these seven days and then it jumped to this Eighth day, right? Es hat einfach diese sieben Tage hier gar nicht erwähnt, sondern es hat über diese sieben Tage gesprochen und dann hat es den achten Tag erwähnt. So without Miller's rules, you would be completely confused, right? Also ohne Miller's Regeln, dann wäre man komplett verwirrt. Okay, let's go to the next quote. Gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. David? In the quote, in paragraph two, it says, 
Uh, it mentioned those seven days. Which court? Mm, 72.2. 72. Okay. Also, in 1SP um, 72.2 sagt es. Okay, show me where you Just the first half, it says everything was now ready for the closing of the house, which could not have been done by Noah from within. An angel is seen by the scoffing multitude descending from heaven, clothed with brightness like the lightning. He closes up that massive outer door and then takes his course upward to heaven again. Seven days were the family of Noah and the ark before the rain began to descend upon the earth. Okay. Ah, okay, the they, they must have missed that then. Excuse me, then, then that's my fault. Okay, so it's there. Also here steht auch, dass Don't know how we missed that. Auf der Arche waren. Okay, so it, okay, that's nice. Okay, so he closed the massive outer door, and then it says seven days before the rain comes, right? Also verschließt diese äußere Tür und dann sagt es für sieben Tage sind sie auf der Arche, bevor der Regen kommt. Okay, excuse me for my overlooking that point. So also you've got, it's quite clear now, right? Also das ist jetzt sehr klar. So seven days that get known, he shuts the door, seven days, and then the eighth day comes, right? Also sieben Tage gehen sie, die Tiere auf die Arche, dann sind sie sieben Tage in der Arche und dann kommt der Regen am achten. Uh, everybody see that? Kann das jeder yeah. sehen? Okay, right. So, um, next quote from 19 MR. Gehen wir jetzt zu diesem nächsten Zitat von 19 MR. It says, at last God bade Noah and his family to go into the ark, and he shut them in. There they remained one week enclosed in the ark before it began to rain. So this is very clear, right? Also, this is very clear. How then did these wicked men mock and deride those in the ark? Was it not a trial of their faith to be shut in there for one week and yet have no rain? But after seven days it began to rain. Right, so the rain begins right here. Also der Regen, der fängt dann genau hier an. How then did these wick... Okay, uh, up to this time there had been no rain. A mist had arisen to water the earth, but as the rain began to fall slowly at first, and then more came, they began to inquire, what shall this come to? At last the heavens were opened and the rain poured down in torrents. Then everyone began to be swept away, etc., etc. Right? And so weiter. Okay, so go to the last quote. Gehen wir zum letzten Zitat. It said, But the time came when there was a singular sight witnessed by the inhabitants of the, no the Noahic, Noahic world. Those who had laughed and scoffed and derided Noah now could see that something was taking place that was wonderful. There was seen coming through the forest and from every quarter animals, two and two, making their way to that ark. These animals were obedient to the commandments of God, but man was disobedient. Then there was seen like a dark cloud in the heavens the fowls of the air flocking to that ark. Well, at the moment this made an impression upon the minds, but as they had fellowship with one another in their unbelief and corruption, they put it away from their minds. Then the commandment is given for Noah and his family to enter the ark. Okay, this is an agreement with the Bible, right? This is an übereinstimmung with the Bible. So when it takes this, right, and puts it here, it's, I think it's referring to the point where he's arranging the animals but really this is the point where it's finished and he's told get, get on the ark right so um when this jetzt darüber spricht dass er in die arche geht dann um, hier ordnet er ja die tiere an aber um, hier wird ihm jetzt gesagt dass er weil hier ist alles vollendet und dann wird ihm gesagt dass er auf die arche gehen then the commandment is given for noah and his family to enter the ark the probation for the inhabitants of the noah Noachic world is ended, right there. The door shut, right? Die Gnadenzeit für die Welt ist jetzt um, zu Ende. Das ist diese geschlossene Tür. Okay. Noah went into the ark, and there is seen a bright light. An angel of heaven came and shut the massive door. So there was a shut door in Noah's time. Noah and his family were shut into the ark, and the unrighteous were shut out. The mercy of God was withdrawn from that polluted and corrupt generation. But we can see what a condition that family were in. 
shut in that ark seven days. It was a tremendous test brought to bear upon Noah and his family, shut in that ark seven days, and yet no rain came. Okay, so okay. So I've put this. Um, where where was the door shut? Was it was it shut? On this day when he gets into the ark, or is it shut at the end of this day? Also but he has to get on the ark first, right? Also die Frage ist, wo die Tür verschlossen wurde, wird es hier an diesem ersten Tag, wo es ihm gesagt wird, dass er auf die Arche geht, oder an diesem Tag? Aber er muss ja zuerst auf die Arche gehen. Okay, so I don't want to... Uh, because he's told to get on the ark on this day, and then they, they are shut, right? Weil an diesem Tag wird ihm gesagt, dass er auf die Arche gehen soll, und dann wird die Tür verschlossen. So, is this day marking the day that the, the, well it must be, right? Yes. Or is it marking that at the end of the seven, it doesn't matter, it has to be in one day or the other, right? Mm -hmm. So, seven days the animals were getting on the ark. Could it not be that the, um, you know, you've got marked on the left, and you've got one to seven marked there. Could it not be one to six and the seventh is the same as the first day? Also, könnte es nicht sein, dass diese ersten sechs Ta Tage hier markiert werden und der siebte ist derselbe wie de dieser erste. Well, it's, that's just an assumption. No, uh, uh, das ist nur eine Vermutung. Uh, well, could, could it not be, has to have a thus saith all, so I'm saying that's just an assumption. It says seven days they were getting on, uh, seven days they were arranging the animals on the earth. Seven days is seven days, right? Wir brauchen right? einen, so spricht der Herr dafür, aber ähm, es sagt eben, für sieben Tage sind sie auf die Arche gegangen. Also es sind so they have to be finished that work before it can. So. Dieses Werk muss eben vollendet sein. Okay, I don't know. I have to look at it closer. But the point is that let's just the, the second to last parag paragraph. Also der vorletzte Absatz. Then the commandment is given for Noah and his family to enter the ark. The probation for the inhabitants of the Noah work is ended. Noah went into the ark, and there was seen a bright light, and an angel came and shut the massive door. So there was a shut door in Noah's time. Noah and his family were shut into the ark, and the unrighteous were shut out. The mercy of God was withdrawn from that polluted and corrupt generation. But we can see what a condition that family were in. Shut in that ark seven days. So I would suggest that... Let me just do that. Okay. So we don't make it look like it. So he comes into the ark on this day and the door shut on this day and he's now there for, for seven days. Also he comes here in the ark, the door is closed and he is now there closed for seven days. Yeah. Okay, but we can look at that obviously closer, right? We can look at that closer, right? Last paragraph. But we can see what a condition that family were in. Shut in that ark seven days. It was a tremendous test brought to bear upon Noah and his family. Shut in the ark seven days and yet no rain came. The jeers and scoffs and triumphs of his enemies seemed complete. But as soon as the seven days were ended, there began to come in the dark and heavy clouds such as they had never seen before. And they increased in blackness and the rain began to fall from them. So as soon as the seventh day is ended, the eighth day begins, the rain also sobald der siebte Tag vollendet ist, dann fängt der achte Tag an und der Regen fängt jetzt an zu fallen. So, I would suggest, but I'll go look at it, that seven days are getting on the ark. As soon as the seventh day is finished, he's told to get on the ark, right, which is, would be the eighth day. Also ich würde vorschlagen, dass die Tiere sieben Tage hier auf die Arche gehen. Und sobald das vollendet ist, dann ähm, wird Noah gesagt, er soll in die Arche gehen. Das ist der achte Tag. Because the eighth day is the self same day that the waters began to fall on the air. Weil der achte Tag ist derselbe Tag, wo wir auch ähm wo die Wasser auf die Erde gefallen sind. Okay, so just go back to Genesis chapter 7. Und gehen wir zurück zu 1. Mose 7. And um, go to verse 12. Und gehen wir zu Vers 12. In fact, let's let's um, yeah, 
forgot the verse um, 10. And it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. So that's here, right? The eighth day. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, in the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. And the rain was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. In the self same day, entered Noah and Shem and Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with him into the ark. So, the waters began in 18, it says in the self same day, but Noah entered in here, that must be referring to the Sabbath, right? Also die Wasser begann hier, und das sagt aber am selben Tag ging er in die Arche, deswegen muss es sich hier auf diesen Tag, auf den Sabbat beziehen. Okay, the self same day meaning the same well, and the days were numbered, right? So if it was the first day, it was the self same day, it was the first day he, he, he got up, right? Also, um, derselbe Tag um, ist dann eben der erste Tag, an dem er hineingegangen ist. But we see that when you take Moses on the cloud, he was doing this prepar preparatory work. It was six days being tested, and it was the seventh day that he entered in, right? Well, ähm, bei Mose, bei dieser Darstellung, da hat er ja sechs Tage dieses Vorbereitungswerk gehabt und dann am siebten Tag ist er in die Wolke gefahren. That would be a parallel to these days that they are in there, right? Das wäre eine Parallele zu diesen sieben Tagen, wo sie in der Arche sind. Okay. Just some conclusions, right? Also das sind nur ein paar Schlussfolgerungen. The point is, now, now we have to work out, where do we place this pattern, right? Und jetzt müssen wir aber noch herausfinden, wo wir dieses ganze Muster hinsetzen. Right, because you have this manifestation of God's power, the shut door, and then the period before the flood, the flood comes, and the flood is the punishment, ja, right? Dann hat die Manifestation von Gottes Kraft, dann die um, geschlossene Tür und dann diese Zeit, also Zeitspanne, bevor die Flut kommt. Und that's, ah, das the, ist die that's Bestrafung. The, the punishment, right? Okay. At least we've got at least we've got this hopefully right to some degree, right? Zumindest haben wir das hoffentlich richtig zu bestimmten Maß. Okay, let's close with uh, prayer for me. Dann lass uns mit Gebet abschließen. dass du uns auch helfen mögest, es an den richtigen Ort zu setzen. Dein Wort sagt, wenn es uns an Weisheit mangelt, dann wirst du uns geben. Und ich möchte beten für meine Brüder, dass sie ähm, das Richtige herausfinden für jede Situation. Und ich möchte dich auch bitten, dass du uns an diesem Tag hilfst, dass, du, dass wir dir Ehre geben. Dass jedes Werk, was wir tun, dass wir deinen heiligen Namen ehren. Und dies möchte ich beten in Jesu Namen. Amen. Amen.